hey guys welcome back to the series of videos on sta in this video we'll try to understand the difference between the path based analysis and the graph based analysis so let's get started so what is graph based analysis so this graph based analysis during the delay calculation is used mostly by the pnr tools because it takes much less runtime and consumes much less memory so it's mostly used in inverse fusion compiler or any other pnr tools so basically what it does is it merges the timing data at nodes with multiple paths going through them we will understand what it is okay so it's very effective in case of pnr because the pnr has not only the timing as its goal but there are other optimizations that it has to do as well for example that it has to do power optimization area optimization and it has to fix drc simultaneously it has to route the best way possible right in order to do so many optimizations it already needs a huge amount of memory and high runtime Running highly accurate ST along with these optimization would be uh, highly impractical uh, because of runtime and memory. So uh, in order to reduce the uh, high amount of memory needed and runtime needed, we go for graph-based analysis in PNR stages. But it is not a necessity that uh, path-based analysis is not possible definitely it is possible but it is very very high time consuming and also memory consuming now it is pessimistic a way of delay calculation compared to pb i will explain you why so let's consider a situation where uh, the flop 120 right is uh, going to the flop 121 a signal is going from 120 to 121 all right so now in this case if you can see this uh, there is uh, this and 45 over here and it has two delay arcs one is 15 ps another one is 20 ps similarly all the other gates over here all those gates also have uh, different delays from different delay arcs okay let's say it is trying to get the data per delay from flop 120 to flop 121 so five pin of this to d pin of this one in that case that it will not consider these instances as cells you know right the algorithms do not work the way it looks like this all right it, it works like a graph it it actually converts this entire situation in this entire circuit into a graph and it does the mathematical calculations based on that each of these instances can be converted into a single node or multiple nodes now if we make it multiple nodes let's say for each of these arcs if we make it 20 ps and 15 ps two different nodes then our mathematical calculations becomes very difficult and also uh, we need to store this information somewhere each node we need to store it in a variable right so those kind of uh, complications will happen in order to solve this problem what the tool does is it actually merges these two arcs into a single arc and it comes it takes the worst of these two similarly here also it takes the worst of these two delay arcs for example in this case the delay was supposed to be in this case it was supposed to be 15 ps and also 23 ps and it is supposed to be 19 ps but what it actually takes is actually 15 uh, the 20 ps and 27 ps and it takes the 19 ps right so only the last one is actually accurate so if you see the representation of that in graph it looks almost like this that it converts this entire circuitry into uh, a graph which consists of only these delays so this is for the setup for the when i say worst uh, it this is for the setup for the hold it would pick the other ones right like it would pick the lower values from uh, the delays that it would get so this is the way how it simplifies the problem but now you understand that it is adding pessimism at each stage so for, for example in this case it should have seen 15 ps actually the delay because the data is traveling from this first pin to the output but it is taking the delay of the second pin so the difference is 5 ps similarly the delay here is actually uh, around 4 ps because just it should have been 23 ps but in this case it's exactly same because this is how the data is actually flowing also right so around 4 plus 5 is 9 ps of pessimism has been added what's the meaning of pessimism the meaning of pessimism is nothing but it is deviating negatively from the 
actual value right negatively means what negatively means uh, we are making it worse than what it is uh, what it is actually right when we say accurate the accurate value would have been uh, 15 ps 23 ps and 19 ps so we can get these values in pba mode we will understand that in pba mode so i hope you understand what graph based analysis means so in case of pba mode it is mostly used in sign of tools such as prime time or tempest because in those tools it's just a verification that we do and no optimization will be done simultaneously and only the timing is the goal of these tools right so it analyzes and propagates the timing for each topological path now as i said in case of PBA it for each topological path this is actually a topology right this is the, actually the layout so for each of this tape, a topological path it will actually propagate the delay and calculates the delay value based on that right but the runtime and the memory required are very high compared to the GBA in case of PBA analysis PBA analysis is the highest accuracy and uh, it is hence used for sign of loss if your chip is going to tape the PBA uh, has to be used for the sign off all right but PBA has also a couple of modes in it for example PBA mode none PBA mode path and PBA mode exhaustive so what's the difference between these three right for example PBA mode none represents it is using GBA so PBA is not at all used in the in this case so the PBA mode path basically represents that let's say we report saying report timing and max paths 100 let's say okay so to get those 100 paths it actually uses gba all right so to uh, do the initial calculation of getting the worst paths it gets those paths based on the gba mode and get those paths and after that it actually reports those 100 paths in PBA mode it will do the recalculation of those paths in PBA mode and then reports those hundred paths to you so that's how the PBA mode path works Be again this will actually reduce the runtime all right so but in case of PBA mode exhaustive this will exhaustively calculate all the paths and what is the worst path also it will calculate based on PBA mode and also it reports based on PBA mode so that's the reason why it's called exhaustive it's a full PBA mode run so this exhaustive has to be the full sign off check for your timing so that's all the difference between PBA and GBA I hope you understand what it is if you have any questions put them in the comment box uh, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye bye